Starting from March 2020, we know that kids in New York City were disproportionately affected by COVID, especially in Bronx, Brooklyn, and Queens. And so we have kids who have experienced primary trauma, right? They're grieving currently, they've lost caregivers, people in their lives that are super important to them. Kids are experiencing a lot more anxiety and depression, and rates have really skyrocketed in child mental health. My Go To Wood project is based on Black girls' mental health. I feel really passionate about this topic due to several incidents in my life where I felt like I had no one to talk to, and so I want to be the outlet for other Black girls to discuss their mental health openly and willingly. My Go To Wood project focused on the rising suicide rate of African American adolescents. The suicide rate for Black adolescents has rose 73%. And I knew I needed to do something, absolutely anything, to bring attention to this matter. From writing articles about the suicide rate from my local newspaper, to teaching the little black girls of my Girl Scout troop about self-love, to even hosting a mental health seminar for all ages, I decided to help destigmatize the mental health crisis in black youths. I had no clue where I was, honestly. I was everywhere and nowhere at once. And as time progressed, I lost hope. But as time progressed, I also gained hope seeing other people try to bounce back and some succeeding, some not succeeding, but still trying. That was refreshing for me. We made an intentional decision at the beginning of COVID to not charge for any of our virtual programs and to give them to anybody to access. We were committed to becoming a part of the solution for the learning loss and the emotional loss, whether a family was a traditional Girl Scout family or not, Girl Scouting was provided in their home. We had to build the trust in the relationship and allow them to speak and guide us in what's going on. And if it's real to them, it's very real for everyone. Your feelings are valid, and only you can validate you by sharing it with others and letting us know what's going on. Being stuck at home was, at the same time, it was great and it was awful. I was like, yes, I'm finally gonna have time to myself. And then I had way too much time to myself and it was terrible. I kind of had to recollect myself, but going back to Girl Scouts was a way to regain my sense of normalcy in my life and get back to being like, okay, this is what I need to do with myself as a person because I don't know how long the pandemic is going to last, but as long as I have these people encouraging me to be my best, then I'll be okay for now. Having worked with families who had struggled with gender-based violence and domestic violence to come into this framework and just know that we're reaching so many girls in this program. Being in touch with your emotions makes you stronger, not weaker, and I want other black girls to realize that.